SQL Server contains many features that you can choose from during the installation. Understanding what each feature provides will help you make an educated choice on the features to install that meet your needs. Most times I've watched a lot of folks install SQL Server and they simply choose all features, click the next button and move on. But let's make sure we understand what we're installing. So at the end of this lesson, you will have gained an understanding of the components available to install with your SQL Server. One of the first things you need to consider is the database engine and the features that provide the core database services. Under the database engine, you'll see that we have the database engine services, our SQL Server replication services, full text and semantic extractions for search, data quality services, as well as analysis services and reporting services. Note that these are checkboxes, and you'll find them in the installation screen, and we'll see an example of that when we do the installation. And these are optional components, but some of them, in order to make SQL functions, such as the database engine services, will be required. The database engine component provides the core service for storing, processing, and securing the data on your SQL Server installation. SQL Server replication service is used for copying and distributing your data, as well as database objects, where you might want to move them from one database to another, or synchronizing between databases to provide consistency in your data. The full text search functionality is actually a search engine, and it supports full text extraction for fast text search within your data, as well as semantic extraction for key phrases that might exist within your data. The optional analysis services provides tools that are used to support what are known as online analytical processing, or OLAP, and the data mining features that are available in SQL Server. Reporting Services is a server-based application that allows you to create, manage, and deliver reports of the data that exists in your SQL database. These can be delivered to email, they support multiple file formats, and they also provide interactive web-based formats. SQL Server also provides a list of shared features. When you install SQL Server on a computer, you have the ability to install multiple instances. Each of these instances can utilize these shared features. Let's take a look at what each one of these shared features are to give you a better understanding of whether you need to install them or not. Some of the core shared features revolve around reporting services. There are two components that interact with SharePoint. There's a reporting services for SharePoint installation, and then there's the reporting services add-in for SharePoint products. This allows SQL Server to integrate with the SharePoint installation that you might have on the same server. Data Quality Services is a knowledge-driven solution that provides both computer-assisted and interactive ways to manage the integrity and the quality of your data sources. Data Quality Services enable you to discover, build, and manage knowledge about your data. The data tools are the development tools and environment, as well as the business intelligence tools that you will use to create the BI components of your SQL installation. The client tools provide the components for client and server communication. Client and server communication essentially allow SQL Server to perform the role of a client in connecting to other data sources, as well as to perform the role of a server, allowing clients to connect to it for serving up the data needs. Integration services include things such as the designer, the runtime, as well as utilities that enable the integration services to move, integrate, and transform data between data stores. Consider integration services as the tool that allows you to bring in data from disparate data sources. The Client Tools SDK is your software development kit. This contains resources for your developers as they decide to build applications to support the needs of the business. Your documentation components essentially consist of your books online. This is the documentation that you will use to understand all the different components, features, and functionality of SQL Server. Your management tools for SQL Server include items such as SQL Server Management Studio, the command line utility, and PowerShell. There are also advanced tools that you can use for managing SQL Server reporting services, SQL Server analysis services, and the other components of SQL Server. The distributed replay controller orchestrates the actions of the distributed replay clients. This includes a distributed replay client and multiple distributed replay clients work together to simulate workloads against an instance of SQL Server. Your Client Connectivity SDK is the SQL native ODBC SDK 
for app development against the database. ODBC simply stands for the Open Database Connectivity. And of course, this software development kit allows you to program against the database using that ODBC framework. The Feature Selection dialog is where you can choose to select all for a complete installation of all the features or to go through and select the individual feature sets that you want to choose for your SQL instance. You'll also notice at the bottom of this dialog box the shared feature directory. You can elect to choose the default that SQL Server provides or you can choose your own default installation directory. So in summary, the many features of SQL Server are chosen during the feature selection portion of the installation wizard. Now this is assuming you're using the graphical installation tool. The command line installation tool will be covered later and you'll see the ability to install different features from the command line. Each feature contains a description of what it is if you select it in the installation wizard. So even though we've covered some of it here, if you select the individual feature during that setup wizard, you'll see a description in the right hand pane that will help you identify what that feature will do. Evaluate each of the features to ensure that you install only what you need. This will optimize your installation for disk space.